This is the Lidl electric scooter and it is an amazing piece of technology for the price of $279.99. It has a brushless motor and does about 15 miles an hour. We're going to take an in-depth look at this thing in just a second. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we have the uh, Lidl electric scooter. It has a brushless motor in the front wheel, so unfortunately you can't do wheelies with it. However, it is very lightweight, very compact, and folds down on this single lever right here. Um, here we have the uh, scooter deck itself. Now under here is the battery. It's a 36 volt or 42 volt fully charged lithium ion battery. And it has a capacity of 7.2 amp hours or 7,200 milliamps for those RC car guys. The brake is a um, JAK generic um, cable disc brake on the rear. This is not a brake, it even has a sticker that tells you this is not a brake like the little scooters you get. However I think maybe they could have made it out of aluminium or something like that to actually make it like an emergency brake, but they opted not to. And um, you know, that's so the tyres don't wear out and things like that I suppose. Talking of tyres, these are uh, tubeless tyres, pneumatic tyres, there is air in these and they are tubeless. Now if you do squeeze hard enough you can actually let the air out of there but I've not had a problem when riding. I've done about 50 miles on this thing so far and it seems pretty good. Um, now to turn it on you just hold this button here and if you press it once more you get the light as you can see there. These bars here tell you how much battery you have and um, you know, it's a pretty good scooter. Uh, to the right hand side we have the uh, thumb throttle and the brake. It's set up continental, so the uh, rear brake is in fact the front brake, if you know what I mean. If you're a mountain biker, you'll know exactly what I mean. So the left hand side there's another brake. This is in fact the front brake, but only works when the battery is flat, so that um, you can charge the battery with something called regen. So as you're going down hills, you can press this brake and it'll actually put some charge into the battery. And if you're feeling really energetic, you can put it into uh, regen mode and then scoot along to charge the battery if you really want to punish yourself. And yeah, it's hard work. To fold, this, to fold the scooter, you simply move this clip back and move this lever down. It's quite difficult to do one-handed. But as you can see, it drops down and the bell is in fact a clip. Yes, there is a bell and you can simply hold the scooter like that. So you can walk through a supermarket without anyone stealing it and without getting moaned at that you're riding it. Though some supermarkets you're actually kind of allowed to ride these round. Um, I believe Lidl you're allowed to ride scooters because all the kids ride them round through the store so as long as you're sensible I'm pretty sure it'd be fine. However you might look a bit of a burke being an adult riding a scooter around a shop. Uh, but you know it's better than leaving it outside for the chavs to steal it. Um, very good scooter, it's made of aluminium and composites, there is a plastic cover on the fork, they're not actually plastic, I did think they were plastic initially, you know, that this, what this weld is like, um, and the price of this thing, but it turns out this is very similar to the Exime, I know I'm butchering that pronunciation, but, you know, China and their names are terrible anyway, um, Exime scooter, and there's a video on YouTube of someone hacking the firmware, so from 15 miles an hour, to about 28 miles an hour and a thousand watts. However, I highly doubt this is true because it's a seven amp hour battery. Um, so you've got 18650s in here. I believe the highest 18650 capacity as of right now is 3,600 milliamps. And you know, those can have an amp draw of somewhere around 15 amps. So, you know, two of them in parallel is going to be 30 amps, 30 amps at for, for, let's say 42 volts. It's close, but it's certainly pushing it. We'll try that at a later date though, changing the firmware and seeing what happens. Now it's all been sunshine and rainbows with this thing and it works perfectly well. Now you may have seen the other scooter